Hello, this video covers the lecture part of lab 6, which is about multiplexers. In lab 6, we're introducing multiplexers, uh, also known as MUXs. Uh, we're going to start with a multiplexer to a table, and then the volume expression to define the output of a 2 to 1 multiplexer. Finally, we'll move on to how to simulate the or how to write code for multiplexers in VHDL. A multiplexer is a selector that allows you to, to, to select one of the input options to be outputted at the output. So for example, um, for a 2 to 1 mux, you have two options to choose from at the input. In this example, we have I0 as our first option, and we also have I1. And based on the value of what's called a select bit, so S is the select bit, depending, depending on the value of S, we're going to choose to either output I0 or I1. Here you see the truth table of a 2 to 1 max, meaning you have two inputs. So this is the first input, this is going to be the second input. And we're also going to need an additional input naming, name, uh, named uh, S or the select bit so that based on the value of S, we're going to either select input 0 or input, input 1. When S is 0, here, S is equal to 0, that means we're going to output the first option, which is I0. So when S is 0, the output is exactly going to be equal to I0. Notice that this is I0, and it's been um, translated or outputted directly as it is at the output. Now when S is 1, select input number 1 to be outputted. So Y or the output is going to be equal to uh, input 1, and so on. Here is another example of a 2 to 1 mux, but uh, except that for the inputs, we have A or B. So for a 2 to 1 max, we need two options to choose from and one select bit, which is S. So based on the value of S, we're going to output either A or B. Notice that every input option is being numbered so that we can easily choose its number and assign it to S so we can output that signal. In this example, a is input number 0, B is input number 1 for us or to choose from. So we can say A is our first option, option number 0, B is option number z uh, number 1. So based on the value of S, if S is 0, we're going to output A. That means Y is equal to A when S is 0. Now when S is equal to 1, Y is going to be equal to B. Uh, in this slide, we're required to use a keymap to minimize the multiplexer operation and express it as a Boolean function. So what we're going to do is create a keymap. It's going to be um, a 2 by 4 keymap. Then we can simply copy uh, the y values in the, uh, in the keymap and then highlight or group each ones that we have. We're going to end up uh, with the expression y is equal to not s and a or s and b. Now given the Boolean expression that we've created in the previous slide, we're required to draw the circuit schematic for a 2 to 1 max given the expression. We can tell that we need one inverter, two AND gates, and one OR gate to be able to implement the 2 to 1 max. And we're going to end up with this circuit logic diagram. So this is actually the circuit we need to implement a 2 to 1 max. What I'm drawing right now is the circuit symbol for a 2 to 1 max. So this is a 2 to 1 Max. Now, if we're required to implement this using VHDL code, 
we could use what's called the one else statement. So the first three lines of the code are basically the library declaration uh, code. The second half or the second part of the code is the entity declaration. We've def we're defining here an entity named mux underscore two one because this is for a, mux, a two to one mux. And the two to one mux has two options for you to choose from, A and B. And we need also one single bit, uh, one single bit for the select bit. So based on the value of S, we're gonna either output A or B. Remember that in the entity part or the second part of the code for a v, for a VHDL file. We're only declaring the entity name and the ports. And a signal is a port only if it is an input or an output. In this case, we have three inputs, A, B, S, and one output, Y. And they're all only single bits. Since standard logic means single bit, we've said here single uh, standard logic. And notice that A, B, S are inputs. So the keyword N is important here and Y is our only output, so we said it's an out. Notice that this is a 2 to 1 selector or a 2 to 1 multiplexer. So the two options that we're choosing from are A or B. We needed an additional input named S because S is going to be our select bit. So again, depending on the value of S, we're going to output either A or B. And in the architecture part, which is the last part in a VHDL code file, we define the relationship between the ports, meaning every output that we have must be assigned a value here in the architecture part of the code. So we're saying architecture behave of mux2 to 1 is in the begin and behave. Here we're assigning a value to y using the assignment operator. So y is assigned a value equal to a when s is equal to, remember, single quote here is important. So y is equal to a when s is zero, else or otherwise, y is equal to b when s is equal to one. So if s is zero, then y is equal to a. If s is one, then y is equal to b. This completes the two to one mux using one else statement. There is, a, net, uh, there is a, a new method that you can use for a 2 to 1 mux, which we'll explain in the next slide. Um, the condition or the statement uh, is called with select one, and this is the syntax for it. So this is not a complete code, it's only part of the architecture part for a 2 to 1 mux. Notice that uh, if you have multiple bits, for us, so if your select bit consists of more than one bit, you will need to use the double quotation marks. So here is an example of a 4 to 1 mux. So this is a 4 to 1 mux, meaning you have four options to choose from. I assume the four options are I0, I1, I2, and I3. So that means I have a total of four options. For me to be able to choose between four options, my select bit, my select signal must have two bits, right? That means if S is equal to zero, I'm gonna choose option number I zero, and then for my last option, S must be one one because one one means clean decimal. So that's why for S, I need two bits if I'm designing a 4 to 1 mux. For example, if we have a 2 to 1 mux, then S must be one bit, right? Because S could be either 0 or 1. If I have a 4 to 1 mux, then S must have two bits because my options can be numbered as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1, from 0 until 3, right? 
if I have 8 to 1 max, then I will need 3 bits for us. Because my first option would be 0, 0, 0. My last option would be 1, 1, 1, which is 7. So from 0 to 7, I will have a total of 8 options. So going back to the example of a 4 to 1 max here, uh, the first three lines are the library declaration uh, code. The second part of the code is where I define the entity name and the ports that are needed for the entity. And again, we said ports mean uh, inputs or outputs. Notice that my only inputs are I and S. And I happens to be a vector of size 4 bits. And this is my I. It's a vector of size 4 bits and to access the first element in I, I can use simply I0. To access the second element of I, I'll say I1 and so on. And since I have a total of 4 options, I0, I1, I2 and I3, S, my select bit, must have 2 bits. This way I can easily select between the four options. You will see that later on when, you, when we talk about the architecture part. And Y must have the same size as my input options. Y is going to be my output, my only output. So that concludes the entity part of the code. Now moving on to the architecture part, we said that, that the architecture part describes the relationship between the ports that we have, meaning it will define the output as a function of the inputs. This time using with select one statement, with select one statement. The way we use with select statement is we say with and then the select bit. Remember, this is very similar to a switch statement in some other languages. So with S in mind, keep S in mind or monitor it and select Y to be equal to I0 when 0, 0, meaning this is the value of S, by the way. If S is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0 is 0 in decimal, right? So select option I0. When S is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1 means 1 in decimal. So select option I1. When s is equal to 1, 0, which is 2 in decimal, select option number or input number 2. And finally, select input number 3, which is i3, when others. So others is my default option, and we're always going to use the keyword others for our last option. So in case S is neither 0, 0, or 0, 1, or 1, 0, we're, also, we're always going to output input number 3, or I3. So this now completes the code for uh, 4 to 1 max using with select when statement. Uh, in this slide, you see some practice uh, exercises. These are optional. They'll help you further learn. Uh, about multiplexers. So if you want, you can pause the screen and look at the questions. Um, for now, you can please uh, download Lab 6 Street from Moodle and complete the worksheet and make sure that you have your work checked regularly uh, without waiting until the end once everything is completed. So once you complete one task, please uh, share your screen with me so I can check your work and uh, mark you for it. And if you need help, I'll also uh, always cor correct you and try to assist during the lab session. If you have questions, please leave them in the chat while we're during a live session. Uh, if we're now not on a live session, please email me at alatia at auk.edu.kw. And please don't leave, uh, if, you, if you're watching this during the live session, please don't leave before having your work checked and submitted. And uh, this is a reminder that the combined lab report for labs five and six is due next week. Uh, 
Remember that the worksheet is to be submitted individually, but you may uh, write your reports as a group and submit them to Moodle. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck.